Hello, I'm Jeffrey Fox, Big Data Applications and Analytics course in the uh, Indiana University Data Science Curriculum. We're doing health and medical informatics uh, section, and this is lesson 11, which is a short um, reminder of the importance of the Internet of Things, in, which is broadly important and is particularly important in uh, health and medicine. So we just give a few examples and motivation here. There is somewhat longer discussion of this in the actual module on um, sensors and the Internet of Things. So here's a picture we've seen uh, several times. It has the various um, components of the uh, Internet of Things. And wearables are actually sitting here as a tiny fraction of this total, but of course this total is um, uh, up there at 8 billion at, uh, in 2013 and growing rapidly. So wearables are still non-trivial. That just puts that in context, the Internet of Things is a very broad area and wearables are important to health, but a relatively modest uh, uh, sub size compared to the total. Here are some general remarks that, uh, of um, Streaming wearables, so your health activity uh, monitor will stream data to the cloud. There it can be uh, compared with other measurements, either other measurements from an, in, an individual or, uh, or global other measurements of multiple individuals. And in principle, patterns of activity can be uh, compared between individuals to identify uh, you know, things that might trigger um, injury or, or heart attacks and things like that. Um, and we know that the tweeting we saw in the, one of the largest uh, entries in the um, Internet of Things are actually smartphones, which are, which are either going to be feeding accelerometer data into the, into the cloud or just uh, people tweeting or they're going to be logging into the cloud to search things and that. These are some of the streaming data that are very important. We have mentioned in the cloud technology section that the Apache Storm is a key software here. It, together with Kafka, which is the publish subscribe system, the data will come in from your wearable, land on Kafka, get queued as a Kafka topic, and then plucked off Kafka, sent to Storm, and then you, a bolt will actually do something with it. In general, there are also important algorithms to, to uh, analyze and process streaming data. This is, these are all important broad areas. And this is not particular to, the, to um, wearables and health uh, devices, but is true for all the Internet of Things. Here is, uh, again, a, a general motivation graph. It's not particular to health. In fact, it's not health. It's just general home device shipments, and you can see 60% growth per year predicted from 14, 2014 to 2019. And it's getting up in 2019 to 600 million devices. Because those include, I mean, things like the Nest thermostat and stuff like that. Here's an interesting plot there. Remember, it's all due to Moore's law, and everything in life is due to Moore's law. He, I don't know whether Gordon Moore realized how much impact he would have. So this is the average cost of a sensor. So sort of interesting to see how these, how cheap these tiny sensors are. So they are, they've reduced in price, and now we're here at about uh, 60 cents per uh, typical sensor. So that just shows how cheap these tiny devices are, and why, that's why you can just pour them onto smartphones, pour them onto watches, and things like that. It also makes you think why you pay quite so much money for some of these devices. They're, you're paying for the packaging and the infrastructure to send it all back from the sensor to the cloud. Here is some wearable computing uh, numbers in millions. Here we have uh, wearable cameras, uh, wearable glasses. Actually, that's got a big jump. Maybe that's due to. Uh, um, Google Glass, I'm not certain. Um, so we have smartwatches, 
We have uh, healthcare devices. This is the biggest category, probably. Fitness trackers, we'll have pictures of those. Motion trackers, smart clothing, uh, we have an example of that. Um, I'm not quite certain why this uh, peculiar uh, chart has percentages here and numbers here. That's slightly strange, is it not? Um, so maybe we're meant to use this percentage increase on these numbers here. But they still add up to a number here. I don't quite understand it. Maybe there's actually a mistake in this plot. Uh, we'll have to go, unfortunately, of course, we just took this from a website which had no voiceover, so we couldn't tell. Still, the conclusion that fitness pack trackers and cameras and healthcare related um, wearable things are the, the dominant sales is important. Here are some examples of uh, activity trackers. They, they, and this activity gets translated in calories and things like that. There are three devices from Fitbit. The one on Nike Fuel, iHealth, um, Fitbug, Jawbone. These are all bands and Withings, which is a French company, that they have an activity device called uh, Pulse. So these, they have different form factors. Uh, several, they're either clip-ons or uh, wristbands or things like that. Um, Here we have more activity devices at the top, and also the notch here at the bottom. Uh, smart uh, toothbrush here, I'm not certain how smart that would be, whether it's going to uh, detect automatically um, cavities and things like that. Here we have various, um, they look like uh, glass related um, devices. It doesn't have Google Glass here, so I'm not quite certain what these are. Um, these look like goggles, maybe they're ski goggles or something like that. And here we have again more um, smart watches, smart clothes. Uh, here we have, um, not quite certain what this thing is here. Uh, here's another, Tinky is another uh, activity device. So this is a, a pretty interesting area in the final place. Part we've actually seen before. It comes from Live Athos Company, and uh, it shows uh, wearables, and it's all, uh, of course, uh, built around a pretty impressive um, weight weight regime. And it's got where it you actually has the clothing and also the external um, monitors, and it's a sort of pretty advanced uh, wearable system for the devoted. Uh, um, Athlete or professional, semi professional uh, fitness buff. So that's the end of this discussion. Short lesson here. Thank you very much. Jeffrey Fox signing off after lesson 11.